Hello children. <laughs> Hello children. Continuing with our growing indoors theme. Uh, today we're going to look at growing some bulbs. Now, because we had lockdown in Spain on March the 14th, um, which is a date I'm never likely to forget uh, for various reasons, because lockdown here in Spain was March the 14th, I didn't get to see um, any of the daffodils or tulips or anything remotely woodland-like or bulb-like growing in the gardens. Um, so I missed that and it was a bit of a shame because I like my bulbs. The bulbs we're going to look at today are bulbs that you will have in your house, probably. Um, they are what we call staple foods. Here in Spain, they're staple anyway. Um, and the bulbs are, in fact, an onion and garlic. Now, the onion and the garlic are from the same family. And they're from a family called alliums. I think I'm saying that correctly, alliums. Um, basically, these are like little onions. So... In the same theme as our avocado, which, if you remember, we started last week, we are going to grow our bulbs in water. Now, for argument's sake, and the fact that being locked down, I'm running fast running out of screws because I keep using my screws for my avocados, I'm going to use a jam jar with a very narrow top, which is actually smaller than the onion. And also, because uh, time is what time is, and we don't know how long we're going to be in lockdown, uh, and because children are getting outside already, I'm going to cheat a bit. Why am I going to cheat a bit? Because this is an onion I've just shown you. But the onion we're going to use for our experiment is this one, which you can see is already sprouting. That's why I say it's a bit of a cheat. But anyway, we're taking our sprouting onion because we need to use it. And we are going to pour our water in our jar like we did our... Uh, avocado and we are simply going to put our onion on the top. Now, unlike a lot of the seeds we've been looking at, this onion is actually fatter at the top than at the bottom. Now normally, as you can see, the roots are at the bottom. And in this case, it's actually narrower at the bottom than it is the top. But here we go. We're gonna go and put this somewhere nice and warm and sunny. And we're gonna see what grows out of the top. The second one is the garlic. Now, for the very fact that the garlic is smaller, I'm using a shot glass uh, because it will help the garlic to stand upright. Now, if you don't have a shot glass at home, you could use perhaps a yogurt pot and put your garlic in the yogurt pot. Or perhaps you could use a... Um, a pudding pot and simply put your garlic in the pudding pot, or even a small tin can. Ta-da! But for the sake of this particular experiment, I'm using a shot glass. It keeps my garlic upright. And in this particular instance, I'm also using one, two, three, four, five, five different uh, cloves, I think we say cloves, 
Is the clove the big one, the whole one? Or is that a head of uh, garlic, a head of garlic? Anyway, we've got five little garlics in there. And I kept the original plant's root at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Just to keep it elevated a little bit. Now, I'm going to pour the water. There we go. Halfway. And we're going to put that in the same. There we go. I'm doing everything on my mobile phone. Um, we're going to put that in the same place as the onion to see how they grow. And I will keep you up to date over the next few days and maybe the next few weeks, depending on how locked down we are. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Keep safe. Bye.